Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. You there. Can you help me? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins, that's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambushed me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. I don't have any of that. Perhaps you could try in Hogsmeade or one of the hamlets. And get extorted by the Ashwinders? No, thank you. <sighs> if you won't tell me, I shall have to take my chance. How am I to avoid Ranrock's lot? Goblins got you yet? Or did you find... No, no, not yet. If you can't defend yourself, you'd be better off staying out of their way. I'm not giving you charity. You'll be sorry. When Ranrock's loyalists come to take me away, you'll be sorry then. If a wizard can't count on someone in the wizarding community to help against goblins... Goblins got you yet? What? No, no, not yet. I... How am I to avoid Ranrock's lot? Revelio. <sighs> Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Rebellion. 
Incendio. Hello. Hello. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety. What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. So nice of you to stop by. Travel broadens the... What is it? What? Goblins! I need a little some. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Protego! I should investigate. Revelio! Protego! Revelio!
Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Wish I had the energy. Off on another adventure, are we? Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about... My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather in... If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to... I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. The name is Paul. I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you... Certainly, that'd be fine. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? It's, uh, good luck for me you stopped by today.
Glad you were able to stop by. Hope they know what they're doing on that room. Could it be a Merlin trial? This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. There's so many vases around here. I suppose I should try to find all the vases. Should only be a few more vases. Revelio. Revelio. Nearly finished. One more vase. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. If I'm safe to explore in there, I know a Merlin trial when I see one. <gasps> Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Why am I always on patrol? It's a waste of my skill. Ah, but if you don't fill up the match, you can have 
Revelio. Revelio. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome. I am Bernard Indiaye, and this is my shop. What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? A pleasure doing business with you. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Revelio. Resource indeed, your field guide. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. 
She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will she not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book.
I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio! This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second.
Revelio. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Good Fringo! Fringo! Rebellion! Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. Incendio is simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Ah. <laughs> Incendio! <laughs> Rebellio! Incendio! Repairer.
Incendio. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now, even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. Revelio! A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I have no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then.
It didn't bother me. I swear. Good. I'm sure they likely hadn't heard the house call. That's all. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows Depulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. I don't Perhaps feel I'll make well. myself a copy. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. The Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. said she was. Thanks. 
Expelliant! Revelio. Ah. 
here. The bolts are. Yeah. 
shield. Expelliant. Reset everything. Good to know. I 
That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herod. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Uh, Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. 
Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. No, you don't. Professor Howen will never believe this. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cosy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Do cooperate, won't you? Set 
settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Oh, no, you don't. I'm only trying to help. Good friend. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Deke. 
It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Most excellent. Rebellion. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Thank <laughs> you. 
came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful! Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Falbutton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. What will I do without her? Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin, not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'll keep an eye out for your mooncalf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnus Mooncalf. I need to head north to find those poachers. Mine now, Demi guys.
does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Who lived here, I wonder? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough, isn't it? Brown Rot's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his dis... Rebellion. Poachers? Garnif was right then. I'd better be careful. Reduction! 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 
Helm. Come back here! Going to use... <laughs> nice! It's the student who released Treadwell. Confringo! Glacius! Incendio! Defendo! Protego! Stupidon! Alohomora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Revelio. Do cooperate, won't you? You don't. Revelio. I'm only trying to help. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Oh. 
Open Fringo! Defender! Do cooperate, won't you? All right, Biscuit. Let's get you back to Garnif, shall we? You in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? I'm afraid not. I'd help you if I could, but I don't actually have a... Well, that is unfortunate. What do you have in store? What was that? How unfortunate for you. Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Garnef, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. 
I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on inside. Rebellion. Watch yourself, though. Let's have it. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green, welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you, don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you, don't knock the mandrakes. Or oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Thank you. 
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Not enough reflection yeah. on the On another adventure, are we? Meet here I come. Rebellion. It's about time Hogwarts put someone like Black in charge. Perhaps now. Expelliarmus. Defender. Kingbringer. The parents were thrilled to hear that Black was being put in charge. How wonderful to see you again.
I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Wingardium Leviosa. Handy resource indeed, your field guide.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion. This place has seen better days. to make me a around here. Rebellio. <laughs> Alohomora. Expelliarmus! Revelio! What are you up to now? How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and Psst, find over me here, the green quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. 
And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before <laughs> I invented... <laughs> I wonder what that does. Well, that didn't work. Perhaps something with a bit more force. Back here. Depulsor. That did it. Wingardium Leviosa. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Be another way in. Capulso. That looks as if it might raise the gate. A 
Back in. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulsa. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulsa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsa. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Yeah, restrain the base. Hi, Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Get these things back to now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Ugh. Blast it! There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. You 
can feed a beast, or it can feed you. The ministry ought to. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Yeah. <sighs> Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Not the safest place to sneak into. You've made a mistake! Hello, Homura.
I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Alohomora. the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run.
can see us from the castle. It's incredible, isn't it? Exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rook was looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. No need to race now, my friend. I doubt Scrivener would stand for that. But if I said it was for an essay for history of magic, how could you? Off on another adventure, are we? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. 
You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring... If I could. All of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? Expel the armors. Incendio. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shaw. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Sh the perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. 
said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no, not this close to school, I mean. Look, there's the table. I think you should be the audience. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? <laughs> 